it's a warm and today right I've gone and done it big project I'm doing a camper van conversion you have to excuse my screw the fires it's red hot and sun's blinding me um, I've just gone and bought a 17 seater money bu money bus yeah mini bus um, and I'm potentially going to turn it into a camper van big project I'll just show you around van it's a 2006 Ford Transit um, minibus, 17 seater. Uh, it's done 200,000 miles, which on these minibuses is, is nothing. Um, there's no rot, no welding being done to it. So I'll just take you for a walk. It has been resprayed though. It's been sprayed, um, it's been sprayed white over yellow. It has got a bit of rust on it, but um, um, I'm going to prep it and I'm going to paint it blue. I think to wear. I might do it all yet. I don't know. Um, there's a few bits of rust on it, but you'll expect that on a 2006. I've got my wide angle lens on because that don't make much noise on, um, on autofocus. But yeah, it's a big bus. Um, it's a good spray job, I'll give it that. Good paint job. However, they've not done the inside of the doors. Yeah, so as you can see, all the doors are yellow and so is the inside which doesn't matter because it's going to get covered in that carpet I'm just normally taking these seats out what a nightmare that's been some bolts are coming out I've actually snapped three T50 Torx um, a proper halfers one and a snap on one that's snapped so I'm having to resort to the angle grinder oh what a night I've just had oh god too many beers right this is it with the seats out I've changed my lens now so you can probably see you know what a Ford Transit bus is anyway. There you go. Some of these bolts were a right sod. Some came out and some didn't. Took probably four hours to get these seats out. Nearly bleeding killed me. Right, here's a quick update. I've not filmed everything. I'm just going to film it in stages. Um, I've realigned the roof. That's the old manky colour. Uh, I've also cut the side pieces off um, and panel boarded instead with little LED pin lights in it. My wiring's in the ceiling, ready to be connected. Um, a couple of sockets in at the far end. I've put the carburetor in. The floor is now complete. Uh, three days I think it's taken me up to now. I'll just show you the carburetor from the outside. It's not quite finished, it wants tidying up. And there's the external heater. Not very exciting to look at like, but there you go. I'm just waiting for my new panel clips to hold the ceiling in um, because the ones that I took out just snapped. You can't, you can't really reuse them. That's the floor completed. Light switch, light switch for these two little LED lights, one at each side, or should I say, two at each side. And these are going to be recessed 12 volt LED ones. So let's just quickly show you what he's done so far, on the inside at least. I just got that in there because it's really warm at the moment, but I think he's going to be putting that in um, as equipment as well when it's done. So got the cooker in and the cooker hob. Uh, the sink, there's no sink in there yet. There's a sink to uh, on order to come and fit in there nicely. Just completed cutting out the hole for the vent in the roof very very scary once you start there's no going back a um, few alterations but it should fit okay um, we've got the vent in but uh, yeah it's going to need some some adjustment let's say 
So I think the plan is, there we're going to have a, um, a seat which will turn into a bed and we want it this side as well, we can pull out into it and make it into a double bed um, we're going to have a fridge and what have you here uh, obviously all carpeted and what have you um, we're leaving the windows in uh, we'll be blanking out the ones behind the sink um, obviously we're not going to waste a, a window that opens so that will be stayed as it is but this is it so far <laughs> Let's have a chat to Mark. Right, so what we've done so far then? Uh, a week, yeah, what have we done so far? Ripped out seats out, that took about four hours. Yep. Uh, ripped out roof lining out, cut it, realigned it with carpet, caravan camping, uh, we've got fine filings all on me. Um, Sorry carpet. about the light here. Uh, I've done everything, new floor, welding underneath because it needed some welding doing. Yep. Um, that's about it, I think. For a minute. This is just a a pillar cover. Put sitting here seating. Mm -hmm. On the other side. All good. See why I cut the corners off. I like a glove. And up the side. It's a brush up because it's got to be so strong over it. Glue. And bogies. <laughs> Quick test fit. Look at that, like a glove. Yeah. I know there's joints and whatnot, but it's not too bad, that is it? Yeah, it looks okay. Put a press stud there and a press stud there. Pull it all in. Job's a good one. Another one to make for the other side. <laughs> Fasten that on yet, or spray it that way. Just to test fit to see how it, how it fits. Like a pair of gloves. Can't really see, it's a bit dark on it, camera, isn't it? But it is a bit, yeah. Try that. Yeah. It does give it a more square boxy feel, which is what it I does. wanted. It does. Got a sink to put in there. Full size one. Well, not the kitchen sink, but... Not bad for a week. That chair's just put there for size, it's not, uh, it's not... Got any structure not, to it? No structure to it, it's just, just a cushion that. Just to check for fit and what have you. But yeah. that's what it will look like when it's done. And I'm going to have a piece kind of, of... I'm going to have an aluminium splash back here. Um, what folds up and down. Yeah. And here, just to stop all... Mind you, it's, it's, like I said, most most we do in a caravan or whatever is make a baking sarny on for grill. You can see, look at that one. Look at the grill. Look at the ring. That's black, so you can tell they've only been using that. Off, using often. One. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would avoid using these at the back, we being so close to this. Yeah. Um, but I don't cook Sunday dinners in a caravan anyway. It's either an egg sandwich or some bacon. That's yeah. About it, that's it? about it. Or usually. kettle. Or we'll go out for breakfast normally, don't we? Yeah. Because you're posh. So this uh, this section here yep. is going to be where the fridge fridge, fridge is going to go. Yeah, but I need to leave a gap at this behind driver's seat because the batteries are under bloody seat. Yeah, you need access to the batteries, and we're thinking the toilet. Toilet. I don't know if to put it somewhere at the here. End of the bed there, or near this door because this window opens. Yeah. And I can put my mushroom vent in here because I've got a vent pot, pot roof as well. A mushroom vent pot toilet, yeah. 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 Pot stink. 
Speak all, for yourself. All this above here um, is going to get boxed in, probably to about here, to top at some visors. Right yeah. out here, I can, I can screw me spar into that, so yeah. it'll come to there, and I'll screw it to the pillars. Um, and then straight across. I don't know what's behind here, so I don't know what I'm So you've got an extra storage shelf? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what I'm doing behind here, I don't know. I might. I'm thinking of actually cutting this off and plyboarding it like I've done with, with sides yeah. instead of using this. Yeah. And it give it, gives me, I don't know, I might decide here, I ain't got that far. I'm kind of working my way back to you, babe. No, I'm working my way from back to front. Yeah. Sort of. Bit, bit in middle. It says doing kitchen. But. Well, anyway, there we are. We'll, we'll end the video there. Um, as I said, check out my brother's channel, Bits and Bobs. Put a link. DIY, and I will put a link in the description. Um, there's loads of interesting projects that he's completed on there. Um, you might find interesting. Right, uh, because I've been too busy um, to film, it's been very difficult for me to film myself. I've just wanted to get on with the job. Um, I've, I've spent probably eight, nine days, I'm showing you the ceiling because I don't want to show you it yet. Uh, eight, nine days doing the inside um, and a bit of welding obviously on outside. So this is the progress so far. I've been to the scrapyard, the caravan scrapyard, and I've managed to, to get some pretty good condition. You have to excuse mess. Um, little cupboard under there. Um, the, the entire seats and the entire interior of a caravan. So I'm going to step back and I'm going to show you how far I've got in a week, just over a week. Excuse all the tools. I've not finished the back doors, they've got to be carpeted. I'm um, just in process at back there. Building, let me just change my focus because it's, it's not too bad. Um, building a shelf across the back like a cubby hole. I've put a skylight in. Um, the entire interior including, including the fridge, the sink, the four burner hob and the electric oven and all the units and this unit here which has got three drawers, uh, two drawers and a drop down thing which I've built myself. The toilet cubicle is going to go here. That table opens up into a double table. I've re-lined all the ceiling apart from this bit, I'm just waiting for fabric coming. Um, yeah, so that's about it. I've put some flooring down. My LED lights are in. Well, they're not in permanently, but they're, they're in and they're working. I've got little blue LED spotlights in the side there, plinth lights. I've got white lights underneath the bottom there. All the electrics are done. So, yes, it's uh, coming along brilliant. I've put some hours in, though. I've been putting 10 hours a day in. So hopefully, should see you on the next one when it's completed.